Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Motorsport UK Super National Rallycross Championship. Final race here at Lydon Hill for the weekend. We have unfortunately had a big shunt previously, so this is a restarted race. And one of the favourites to win the race was involved in that Slavomir Volok, uh, who unfortunately will not be in this race. But the front two then are indeed, as they come through Chesson's Drift, it is indeed Jason Bleasdale and Paige Bellaby. And well... These two have been right at the sharp end of the graces every single race so far. And this is going to be a shorter race of four laps for you. Up Harry Hill we will indeed come. And it is indeed Bleasdale that held, well, holds a very slender lead as it stands. Bellaby was involved in the big accident in the previous run of this race, but ultimately uh, had no damage. So all good to compete here. A uh, massive, massive shout out to Carl Jarvis, by the way, who's in P5 as it stands. Uh, they have already taken the Joker already. That car has been on fire twice this weekend. Uh, the engine has fallen through as well. The engine mount was broken. I have no idea how it's a car anymore, let alone in the race. So fair play to them to keep going, to keep building the car. Uh, they actually finished at 2 a.m. this morning. So, yeah, incredible, incredible commitment to just get into the race. Up to the front two there, three wheels then around the devil's elbow. It will be, it's still the lead then for Jason Bleasdale. Bellaby just dropping off ever so slightly here. Will there be the potential for an overtake or will he be able to indeed get up any higher in this race? I'm not too sure if that's going to happen or not. It may take a mistake here. Again, Jarvis then is now into what would be P4. So it looks like Grant has dropped down ever so slightly here as well. We've also got Mathieu Florjak who's currently in P3 in the Citroen Saxo. So as we come through or towards the final chicane here, Jarvis all out of shape. And there we go. We can see that into the lead of this race, Bellaby. We'll have to get confirmation of that. Is Bellaby in the lead, Bleasdale? I think may have come through to Joker. One of the two have, anyway. Say so up to the top of the hill we will come. No, actually, it was indeed Bellaby that took the Joker. Uh, Bleasdale still leads this race. So I would imagine Bleasdale is about to indeed come through. and also take that opportunity. We are on to the final lap of today's race, and there we go. It will indeed be joker time for our race leader. I tell you what, it's going to be close on the merge as they come through Chester's Drift down the Dover Slope, and it is a change of position. So here we go. I thought it was going to be really easy for uh, Bleasdale, but Bellaby has found some unreal pace over the last couple of laps. We head up the hill then, up Harry Hill for the final time. And they both look like they've got smiles on their faces on the car. But who's going to have the real smile by winning this race? Door not open then at the top of Harry Hill. The inside line, though, is going to be covered by, I believe, Bleasdale. Bleasdale's got to go for it up the inside. And if he runs wide here, then the door might be open for Bellaby to potentially retake the position. It's not quite going to work out then. Bleasdale does take the race victory here for the Super Nationals. Congratulations to him. Bellaby then will finish in P2. And, well, who's going to come across the line in P3? I think you find it could well be Jarvis with a podium. That is a ridiculous result. You have no idea. This weekend, that car has been on fire twice. The engine's been blown up. It's fallen out the car. If anything could go wrong with that Renault Megane, it, it did this weekend. And they managed to get a podium. That is unbelievable. Congratulations to them. The day does indeed, though, belong to Bleasdale.